Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. We're back today with another, well you guessed it, Zealand Miniatures Minotaur. But we have a different Minotaur today, one that we haven't seen yet, and that is one of their female Minotaurs. And that's something we haven't really seen a whole lot of on the tabletop. And she looks to be just as big and just as bad as her male counterparts. Well, maybe not as big. This is a big base though. I'm going to say it's probably a 60. I have a 50 millimeter base here. Oh, I am right. So she's going to be a big one. We have the lower legs, obviously. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in a little bit. Ooh, ah. See some lovely severed heads. The detail, as always, is quite nice. I would not expect any less. Let me zoom it. See the top half of the torso. Now, I don't know if you were expecting to have uh, udders or anything on that. I kind of was. I thought, you know, why not go all the way? And I think they might have done that on the Matron, but this warrior is a bit more uh, anthropomorphically correct, if that's your kind of thing. Can't say I've ever been in the mood or on the market for cheesecake minotaurs, but, you know. There's something for everybody. Got her hair kind of done up in a big old wrap. Different. Interesting. Nowhere near as spiky as some of the other ones. What is this? A hand of some sort. And then she is going to be fighting with two axes or an axe and a pick of some sort as well so not too complex certainly have built worse from them some of the other minotaurs were quite complex in their builds but pretty simple this is one of the actual kickstarter models their post kickstarter models i'd say are a lot easier to put together if that's an issue for you they were just like slot them in lots of big keyed in spots uh even bigger than these i mean this isn't that bad but if that's an issue for you so I would definitely take a look at the newer ones, and if you need suggestions, I'm more than welcome to offer some or let them do their job and tell you to. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put her together. It doesn't look too complex, and we'll grab some of the other minotaurs that we painted, and we'll see how they stack up. And one of these days, we'll have to get a GW one just to see how it compares. <sighs> Sadly, I don't have any. All right, we got our lady minotaur friend here all finished up, and boy howdy, is she a nice looking model. But then again, I can say that about every single one of the minotaurs so far that Zealot Miniatures has put out. Absolutely love their minotaurs. And it feels like her base is a little bit too big, but then I actually grabbed all the other ones and realized that maybe I need to zoom it out so you guys can see them too. Um, yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but then... That just means she's in really good company. And it's a good excuse for me to pull out all these miniatures. Honestly, these are some of my favorite. The variety, the unique look to every one of them. They're just really fantastic models. Definitely some of my absolute favorite. And, I mean, probably, I, as far as I know, they're all the same sculptor, too. Um, definitely a great job. i got to double check who that is but just really impressive. Not too complex to build. Definitely one that I am eager to get some paint on. In case you're curious just how tall these are, grabbing a mantic dwarf and our human friend. You can see these are quite large, but not super ridiculously overimposing, but you get three or four of these and you have yourself a full Kings of War unit. You know don't really need more than that and despite her slenderness compared to the males I think she looks just as tough and ferocious as her counterparts here so definitely cool and sooner or later eventually we will end up with probably all of these Elit Minotaurs at some point or another so hopefully she will be the first of the females and hopefully not the last but I will put a link down below if you've never encountered these out in the wild yourself. Do take a look because they are quite fantastic models. With that said, though, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye bye.